Thank you. We should be awake because we were outside, right? We got over lunch. So thank you for coming today. Thank, thank you for your interest uh, supporting this program. And thank you for considering adoption of this revolutionary technology that we've been hearing about. Uh, I do work for a company called Barenbrug USA. You can buy our products through local sources like Jesse Raymer, like Byron Seeds. We had a representative right here in front of me. Maybe I need glasses. Thank you. Uh, and also through Caudel Seed. So we have a range of products that are appropriate and uh, adapted to this region. Uh, I'd like you to consider them. Like you'd also to get a sense of my sense of humor here. A little irony that we've got a sign that says hot by Kentucky 31 fescue. Okay. I do work for a seed company. Uh, that's, that's what we do. And I will tell you that there's nothing so expensive as cheap seed. When you have a seeding failure, your greatest cost is not the seed you have to buy to redo. It's what you've just done to your grazing rotation, your entire farm management. So this happens to be a red clover trial run up at Lexington, and I'll, you know, I'll help you pick out the four reps of the VNS red clover seed that they put in there. And VNS does not stand for very nice seed. I hope you know that. Um, we've, we've heard about seeding failures, and of course, every time you have a seeding failure, it's the seed company's fault. Perhaps not. In this case, do you want to guess what pattern there was on the tires of the air seeder? A little, you know, pay attention to the agronomy. There's nothing special about these plants that we're talking about. It's standard agronomy getting perennial plant stands established, okay? And once it's established, we now have equipment that's ideally suited for killing perennial grass stands except people think it's a hay mower. You just need to raise that up. We heard that manage, uh, mess, uh, message <laughs> mentioned earlier. Make sure that that height is proper, especially on these new stands. Give them, you don't want them get too tall, you don't want to get them too short. Okay, so there's been a lot of progress through agriculture since the 40s. We can think of all the advances that have happened with hybrid corn, for example, revolutionized corn. We are still planting the majority of the pounds of cool season grass seeds sold in this country are of varieties that are older than I am. And if you're not impressed, I was born in 56, so you can judge that for yourself, okay? Um, and cows, you know, cattle look a little different than to now. And technology in agriculture has changed a little bit. This is technology that we're talking about. We're talking about adopting it. We're talking about changing fundamentally how we can farm thanks to novel endophytes. The one that we market is called Bar Optima Plus E34. Bar Optima, the variety, an improved modern forage, morphologically different than Kentucky 31, coupled with a unique uh, endophyte E34. All of these benefits have been discussed already in terms of comparing uh, novel like Bar Optima plus E34 with Kentucky 31. Better animal performance, increased digestibility and intake, increased daily gains, higher calving rate, greater energy, which gets us back up to previously mentioned unmatched palatability, stress-free pasture management, more profitable use of the resources. We've been in the market testing this product for over 16 years. We have trials now in over 29 states. Uh, and in fact, in Kentucky, if you look in the variety results publication historically, we've been in 11 variety trials since 2005. And we've been in six grazing trials since 2007. Bar Optima plus E34 has been trialed in this state, works well. Encourage you to consider it when you're making your selections. We have people with a great deal of knowledge about grass growth and management. Jesse Raymer's here. Encourage you to talk to him about it, please. 
But at the same time, we also have products that you might find useful like Freedom Red Clover, which was developed at the University of Kentucky, and a brand new release of crabgrass, which might come in handy helping patch some beat up pastures this year. Um, so I encourage you to think about our products. We have spent a lot of effort on packaging. If you ever see a package that's been broken, please let us know because they should not be in the marketplace. The, 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 this, they should not be poking the bag to take a new sample. They should be returning that product for replacement to make sure that you get fresh uh, product of highest quality. We've demonstrated high persistence, high palatability at the same time. So we hear a lot of conversation about management. Absolutely, we need to manage grass properly, but that's any grass. And the idea that we need to baby these, I would push just a little bit. Um, we've talked about weight gain. The plant looks different than you're used to with Kentucky 31. Uh, part of it is if you examine it with a microscope, you can see a different in the plant margin, the edge of that leaf. So one of the ways to tell Kentucky 31 for people you don't like very much is to take a blade and run it from tip to, you know, across the edge of their tongue and, and then help them staunch the bleeding. So the animals eat with their tongue, so greater intake. Uh, if, it, if they eat more, it's of higher quality, they do better. Um, again, just reinforcing persistence and um, preference in a grazing plant. So we have done work to improve the forage quality of tall fescue. So much so that Bar Optima plus E34 produced in southern Missouri took second place in the grass hay division at the World Forage Super Bowl uh, at uh, Madison, Wisconsin. So you can have all the advantages and not have to poison your livestock. And the last thing I'll leave you with is what I've said at every other word of advice. A steak a day keeps the doctor away. Thank you. Can, can you start kidding about that? Either? I saw a meet about a pound of hamburger yesterday with no bun. All right. <laughs> it's Lent. I gave Are up. Are there any questions for Peter? All right, Peter, thank you. Thank you.